everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another video firstly sorry this video is a little bit late obviously you guys know that normally i upload on sundays but this week i'm uploading on monday only because this last week has just been so incredibly busy and I was away for the bank holiday weekend, so I'm running a little bit behind. So hopefully you guys won't mind that I'm uploading this on Monday rather than Sunday. My normal schedule is gonna resume after this video, so you'll be getting videos on Sundays and Thursdays like normal. But for today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you a bit of a capsule of my summer shoes, so summer sandals, and my summer bags. Now, I find these videos really helpful to watch because it gives me ideas of the kind of things I'm looking to add to my wardrobe and also how I can incorporate them into my existing wardrobe. Now, this video is gonna be high street focused. So everything that I've picked up, it's really affordable. It's from the high street. It's easily accessible and it is gonna be budget friendly which is great. Um, I love watching these videos and seeing the designer side of things, but I think for a lot of people, that's maybe not achievable. So I want to do a high street version for you guys, and you can see what you can pick up from the high street. So that's probably enough of me rambling on. Um, also, before we get started, this top is from Mango. I will pop a link in the description box below. Um, but let me show you my shoe and bag collection. So I think I'm going to start with shoes in this video and most of these shoes are sandals and you'll see a bit of a theme that most of them are black. I think black accessories are so, so chic and they definitely work in my wardrobe personally because I tend to steer towards more of a neutral colour palette. So the first pair of sandals are these gorgeous flip flops. I say flip flops, they're a bit more than a flip flop. <laughs> Um, from Mango. So these are a chunky flip flop and they are more of a, I would say a kind of slider style base, but then they do have this really cushioned um, strap, which I absolutely love. It makes them so, so comfortable to wear. Now these ones are a little bit heeled, they're a little bit chunky, so they're gonna give you a little bit of height. They are quite firm, so this base here isn't too padded, it is quite firm and robust, um, which means that it might be slightly harsh if you're going for longer walks. Um, I did wear these ones on a walk recently in the bank holiday down to Cornwall, um, and they did rub slightly between the toes, so I think these ones are gonna take a couple of wears to just wear them in and make them a little bit more comfortable, but I absolutely love the design. I love how chic they are. I love how minimal they are. And I love how affordable they are as well. So I will link everything or dupes for everything in the description box below. But yeah, these are a trusty summer staple for this year. Another pair of black chunky sandals are these ones from Zara. Now I picked up these ones in winter because I got them in the sale for literally half price. And um, because I knew I would wear sandals exactly like this for summer 2021 um so yeah so i really really love them they are black and they have this almost like patent black leather strap and um, i love the fact that they have a velcro strap at the back here so you can fit them exactly to the size of your feet i'm not sure these exact sandals are still available but a dad sandal is not going anywhere, especially with the Chanel dad sandal. Um, but these ones are definitely a bit more of an affordable option. These ones are so incredibly comfy. They don't rub at all. I think it's because of this crisscross strap here. Your toe kind of sits up here and there's not really much chance for it to rub. So I find these incredibly comfortable to wear. And um, they're actually quite durable as well, seeing as I've worn them quite a few times and they are really, clean and great quality and they're quite a sturdy shoe they are slightly bendy so they're going to have a little bit more give to them and yeah they are so easy to pair with any kind of outfit to be honest with you and um, love them and i'm going to be wearing them all the time <laughs> so to have a little bit of a break 
from the black. I also picked up these sandals really recently from Zara. They are so, so lovely. These are, to me, they're a real kind of classic just slide on summer sandal. Now, I love these ones because they do have a little bit of cushioning here. So the overall shoe is quite firm. Um, it is slightly bendy, which is great. They are quite a thin shoe but they do have a little teeny tiny um heel here and then the heel bed is soft and cushioned which is really lovely um because it means they're just a little bit more comfortable to wear I really like these ones because I love this detail here and I love the color of them as well. They are almost a creamy, neutrally color and again, they're something that's gonna work with pretty much anything in your summer wardrobe. They're gonna work really hard for you and you're definitely gonna get your wear out of these and they are such a good price point for a pair of long lasting summer sandals. Now, for more of an evening summer sandal, these are by far my favourite. I've worn these ones a couple times already, and they are such a comfortable pair of mules. So, these ones are from H&M, so incredibly affordable, and the leather here is so incredibly soft, I can't even tell you. I've worn these walking around up slopes and down slopes and up steps and everywhere you can imagine in a little cobbled street and these just work so nicely with any outfit. They're incredibly comfortable and I love the fact they have a little tiny heel but these days I'm not really interested in having a massive heel so these are just absolutely perfect. My next pair of shoes are a pair of shoes which I thought I would not never own, but I didn't really understand the hype until I got myself a pair of Birkenstocks. So these are the gorgeous Birkenstocks that I have. They are so incredibly comfortable. I cannot tell you. I wore these Birkenstocks pretty much for two or three days straight down in Cornwall, down in Lou for the bank holiday weekend, and they just, they've already molded to my feet. These are my go-to pair of sandals at the moment, and I just absolutely love them. They are so incredibly comfortable. They're so lightweight as well, which really surprised me. And um, I have gone for the sandals with a strap. I'll pop a link down below. Um, but I just prefer this strap detail here just to make them a bit more secure and you don't have to worry about them flying off your feet, which you do if you just get the two strap version. Um, I'm hoping to pick these up in a lighter color because now I'm on the Birkenstock train, I don't think I'm gonna jump off anytime soon. So these are a little bit more expensive than the other pair of sandals, but definitely worth every penny. And my last pair of sandals are a pair of sandals which I think are just the most incredible Hermes dupes. And I got these ones about, probably about two years ago now from Nasty Girl online. So I don't know whether they still have these ones available, but they are such an incredible dupe for a very expensive pair of shoes and they are so comfortable. I did not experience any rubbing or any discomfort or any kind of blistering with these sandals. They're so comfy. They have almost like a springy sole, which is lovely. And they do have a little tiny, tiny bit of a heel as well, which makes them so, so comfortable. I love the fact that they're this deep brown color and then the strap is black. They work so, so nicely again with lots of things in your wardrobe. And yeah, I love them. So I'm not sure if they still do them, but I will have a look and see if I can find a dupe for you. And moving on to back. So bag number one is this gorgeous bag. It's a beautiful wicker basket bag, which they're just not going anywhere basket bags. And I know so many people are picking up the Loewe's, they're picking up the Chloe basket bags, but guys, you can find affordable dupes for these bags on the high street. Now this one was from Zara. I got it last summer, um, but they're absolutely everywhere. Mango have so many amazing basket bags at the moment for really reasonable prices. I love this one because it has an inbuilt canvas pocket inside. So you can pretty much have a little bit of extra safety 
oh I've got a face mask in there <laughs> um extra safety by popping all your bits in the canvas and then it just looks so chic and stylish I love the brown coloring it's the perfect size to pop over your shoulder um and yeah it's just a real staple for me this time of year so definitely worthwhile investing in a basket bag but you don't have to spend a fortune on the more day-to-day -day kind of I guess outfit idea minimal style kind of bags I got this one from Mango and I got this one at the start of this season and I absolutely adore it it is the minimalist bag they also had it in a lighter color as well but I went for the black because I thought it's classic it's timeless there's no kind of branding or anything to this bag it's so chic and minimal and inside it is just absolutely gorgeous as well I do have a bit of paperwork in here but this is what it looks like and um, it's got gold hardware and it is just absolutely stunning it is such a go-to bag for me this summer already and it's going to be one of those I just keep in my wardrobe this bag even has little buttons where you can pop it on the floor and it's not going to damage so for the price it is just an amazing quality bag another bag which you will probably seen all over my instagram if you follow me over there is this gorgeous basket bag from zara this one is just the black and tan striped bag now this one doesn't have any kind of poppers or anything to do up but it does have a canvas insole inside so you can zip it up and zip up all your belongings which is really lovely I love the fact that it is slightly kind of lower so it does fall slightly lower when you're wearing it but I really like that because I think it just makes it a bit more comfortable um, again it's just kind of knitted on the bottom it's like a knitted bag <laughs> I love it it doesn't hold its shape all too well um, but for a classic bag to pop with neutral outfits this is just perfect a bag that is quickly becoming a favourite of mine is this gorgeous bag which is from Amazon Fashion. Now I love the rattan bag, I think it looks so so chic and timeless and it's funny because years and years and years ago my mum had a similar bag to this and I can remember her having it and I thought oh, that's such a nice bag. And it's funny how these things come around again. This one is really slouchy. It's quite a big bag, but it's so effortless and chic and slouchy. You can pop it over your shoulder and you can get everything in it. And it's also really affordable. Last time I checked, it was out of stock, but I'll see if I can find something similar for you because it's just becoming my absolute favorite. And then the last bag I wanted to show you is this one, which is also from Zara. This one is a canvas tote and you can actually pay, I think it's like two pound extra or something, and get this personalized so you can get your initials on the bag if you want to. I haven't, only because I quite like it being minimal and simple. It's a, I would say it's like an off-white colour. It then has these deep brown straps to it, which I really, really like because it's nice to have a bag that goes better with brownie toned outfits rather than just black. Um, it does have a popper detail here, so you can just unpop it and then it's got a compartment inside. It's a really, really large bag. You can get loads in it. It falls at a really nice length as well. Um, I think it looks so much more expensive than Zara but again you can get affordable dupes and definitely bags that look a lot more chic than the high street on the high street for great prices so hopefully this video has given you some inspiration and shown you a bit of my bag and shoe collection for the summer I hope you've enjoyed it if you have I'd love it if you gave it a big old thumbs up if you want to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday and Thursday I would love to have you and thank you so, so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!